Hi guys, it's Denise from Salvaged Inspirations. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be doing a dirty pour painting technique on some Christmas ornaments. So just let me set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have everything set up here to do the dirty pour um, painting Christmas ornaments. Uh, this is the first time I am trying this and it's kind of like a build your confidence project for me because I really want to try this technique on a piece of furniture but I thought I would try it on something smaller first because uh, I think it looks great. So I'm just going to start by removing the tops of uh, these glass ornament Christmas ornament balls and that's really really easy to do. They actually just you just slide them out and you'll see there's two little pins there you can just squeeze these and they come out quite easily. I also have uh, what I'm working with here is Dixie Belle cotton, which is a water based paint and also their moonshine metallic. So I have gold digger. I think these are going to look really nice together. I have uh, rose, Caribbean and also steel magnolia. So I don't know how I'm gonna combine these, but I know white is gonna be my base. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of uh, experiment with these colors here. So to start, the key to this uh, paint pour is to use Floetrol because this will extend the amount of time the paint has to kind of swirl around on whatever you're doing it with and it gives it a nice flow. Uh, so I'm going to, the white I'm gonna be using the most of, so I'll just be pouring it into this cup. Probably gonna do maybe a 50-50, I'll start with that. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And again, it's gonna be the white that'll be the base for all the rest of my colors, and I'm just gonna really mix that up nicely. So the flow trowel is mis mixed into the Dixie Belle cotton paint really, really well. This flow trowel can be used on any water-based paint, uh, not oils though. It says right here on the bottle, latex, uh, which is water-based. In the UK, it's emulsion paint. I know different countries have different names for it, but any sort of uh, water-based paint, acrylic, latex, um, and same with the metallics. I'm going to do the exact same, except not quite as much because, like I said, white is going to be my base. I don't want to be wasting a whole lot of paint, which I know this technique is going to be super messy and waste some regardless, but uh, let's see how this works. And I'll just fill each individual cup with approximately the same amount, approximately 50-50. Like I said, ooh, it's messy already. I guess this is part of the fun. <laughs> um, and I'll just do that with each and every color. I guess they don't call this dirty paint pour for nothing. It's the dirty way of doing it, isn't it? Ah! If you wanted to take your time with this and be a little cleaner, I'm sure you could. Let's make that a little more 50-50. That looks better. I'll put that off to the side. And my last one is the Magnolia. So again, I'll pour in the flow trowel and pour in my steel. Is it steel Magnolia? Yeah, steel Magnolia. This is a nice, eh? These metallics are fabulous. I think they're going to look really, really good on the Christmas ornaments. So I do have my paint stir or my popsicle sticks or craft sticks, whichever you like to call them. And I'm just gonna make sure I mix each individual metallic really well with the flow trowel. Uh, the white we already mixed. And of course you're gonna be using a clean, um, a clean popsicle stick or craft stick for each color because you don't want them to get tainted with the other metallics or whatever color you decide to use. I love this pink. That's going to look so good. And our last one is the Caribbean blue. So once I've mixed the colors really, really well, including the flow trowel, and again, I've done about a 50-50 mix for each of the metallics and the white, uh, then I'm going to mix 
the different colors I want to use on my Christmas ornament uh, in a separate cup. So I will, and this, this is the part you just get creative with, whatever you'd like. Start with the white. This one, I will do gold. Swirl that in. Let's add some pink. And I will end with a little more white. Okay. And then this, is called the dirty pour where you actually just pour it on whatever project you're working with again this is glass christmas ornament ball um i'm <laughs> i'm testing this because i do want to try this on a piece of furniture but i was a little intimidated to start on a big piece of furniture at first so let's just pour it on and see how this works there will be um some paint that gets wasted, of course. And because the flow trawl is there, it should just flow all over the ball nice and easily and kind of create this marble effect, I'm hoping. My God, that looks good. It is messy though. <laughs> it's very messy. That looks great though. Uh, now I've seen other videos where they use, uh, they have a stick, which is actually holding this up. I'm using my finger for these Christmas balls, but I've seen where they have a stick and they stick it in styrofoam. Uh, that's probably the cleaner way to do this dirty pour paint technique. However, I just have this craft paper down here and I'm just going to, I know that when I put back on the uh, hook, that this part isn't going to show anyway. So I'm just going to take my fingers and actually put it down that way. Okay, for this one, I will try a different color combo. So I'll do a little white. I'll start with white. And then I'm going to do the Caribbean blue. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Uh, and then I will do gold. Because who doesn't like a little gold for Christmas, right? And then let's try a little more white. Because I think the white, in my opinion, it really adds to the marble effect. Okay, so in my second cup, I've added four colors. And let's just pour it on and see what we get. I'm pretty amazed at how well this turns out. And the flow trawl makes the paint, like I said, it just kind of flows and gives a really, really neat effect. I'm going to put this off to the side so I can do another one. Okay, well, they don't call this dirty paint pouring for nothing because it is a messy, messy, messy job. It is fun, uh, it feels like play, but it is very messy as you can see. And uh, like I said, this is my first time trying it. So I'm sure that I probably could have been a little more conservative on the amount of paint I used because I am gonna have a little excess left over. Um, so I'm gonna let these dry and then I will be back to show you what they look like.